Thank you to Yelp for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so I'm fully ready. We are about to take off. Let me show you guys my dress. It's so cute. I bought this dress from Zara. And then the shoes that I'm wearing, I actually got them um, like right before I got pregnant with Elliot. So I haven't even had a chance to wear them yet. My bracelets have Sebastian and Elliot's name engraved into them. I love them. They are so pretty. And I usually wear it with this one, but I put this one on this hand because I just thought it looked really cute. Finally made it at the house and we're gonna go to the Yelp event first, which I'm super excited about because they have these new trending vending machines. So basically they're gonna be filled with items that are trendy here in Texas from the 8th through the 12th. And there's gonna be like different locations. I'll make sure to like leave a list of all the different locations so you guys can go check them out. And they're also gonna be in Austin, Texas from the 15th through the 20th in different locations as well. So. Um, we're gonna go like do the vending machine together and see what we can get the place that we're going to is um, It's a popsicle place and I've actually seen it on Yelp before find all of the new restaurants on Yelp anytime that somebody Will ask me like how I found it. I'm like, oh, I found it on Yelp, <laughs> right, babe? It's been like that for years. Yeah, it's been like that for years. So I'm excited to be working with them and um Oh, how cute! I see the vending machine. They have it all set up already. Um, and yeah, let's go inside. Okay, so we just got to um, Pop. So they actually have like scientists behind the whole process where they like study reviews of like food places and they find like the trendiest stuff in Texas. So elite members, they do one of the icons on this side. Regular Yelp members are one on this side. Elite get two, so I'll just do one on this side and then it'll vend, it's just random. And as soon as it's done dispensing, it goes to like an email thing. And I think after you type your email in, it'll give more about the experience and where some of the other locations are and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So this is a bandana. Oh, wow. Oh, I think it's the QR code on here. Okay. okay. I forgot to show you guys what was in the trending machine, but I ended up getting a um, bandana. So when you get here, you get these little vouchers right here. Do you want to do it? Okay. <laughs> and this voucher gives you $5 off. So we're going to go inside and get a popsicle. That was so good. Um, I, like I said, I will leave all of the locations that the trendy machines will be at down in the info box. You guys can check it out and let me know if you guys end up stopping by any of them and which location you go to. Now we're gonna go to Trader Joe's. It's actually, what time is it right now? Like two? two yeah. It's like two in the afternoon. So we're gonna go to Trader Joe's and I also wanna get some mums. <laughs> I met him on a sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by. I couldn't get him off my mind. I told him I want that great love. Like standing in the middle of a bonfire. You don't know how you got there, but you hold tight. Knowing that you can't get burned. Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other. I honestly don't know. Trader Joe's was so packed, like I haven't seen it this packed in so long. And we got lots of pumpkin goodies. And of course, we always have to open something in the truck. My husband picked these out. They're honey roasted peanuts. They're actually really good. Actually, I'm probably one. offended that I said actually. I am. <laughs> I think it looks so cute. So um, there's like this little opening right here and I thought that was perfect for the mom so that we can still kind of walk in. And then I have the little pumpkins right there. 
and these lanterns are so pretty. I did put these candles in there that are um, heat resistant, so they're like a hard plastic so that they don't melt and they have a timer. So I could just have them turn on at night. And then these are the little mats, it says, oh, hello. I already had these in the old house, so I just brought them out here. Also, my wreath is from last year. Um, I ordered a really pretty pink wreath from Anthropology. I, I have to show it to you guys, and I'm thinking of putting it out here, but I kind of wanted to save it for the kitchen. I'll show it to you guys once we go inside, but I love how the porch looks. It's so cute. I got all the freezer stuff right here. These strawberries look so good. They're organic strawberries but look at how perfect they look i feel like when we go to trader joe's we don't really buy a lot of like produce it's mostly just like the snacks that we like and um like seasonal stuff and freezer stuff these i've been like craving all week and like dying to go to trader joe's for these these are so good they're pork and ginger soup dumplings um, i know costco has these as well but the ones from costco don't have soup inside of them they're just like the dumplings they're good but these are better so if you ever go to trader joe's and you run into these get these i always feel a little embarrassed like buying these from trader joe's because it's only one tray so it's like one serving per box and I wanna buy like 10 of them at a time so I can keep them in the freezer. Um, but I just buy four so I don't like a total order. Okay, this is a seasonal item. This is butternut squash mac and cheese bites. And I actually have tried the normal ones that they make and they were pretty good, um, but I really wanted to try these. I love stuff like this that you can make in the air fryer. Of course, I had to get my Trader Joe hash browns. I love making these in the air fryer. They're good as a snack for breakfast with like a fried egg, avocado. They're just so, so good. You have to make them in the air fryer though. Yeah, and these I got for Sebastian. He really likes corn dogs and these are turkey dogs. I've actually never bought them before. I don't know if he's gonna like them. Hopefully he does. I'm just not gonna tell him that they're any different from like Sonic's. He, lo he loves a corn dog from Sonic. Okay, so I don't know if this one is new per se, but I don't know how to pronounce it. Is it raclette? Raclette cheese. And I've had this at a restaurant where they like melt it on top of your bread. It's, it's like a stinky cheese, but it's so, so good. You eat it with like prosciutto or like a salty ham and it's really good. So we got the prosciutto and this. This is the unexpected cheddar. This is just like a must in our fridge. It's so good. It's just a crumbly cheddar. This one is new and it's Toscano cheese dusted with cinnamon. I'm honestly not sure how I feel about that, but I really wanted to try it. I figured it might be good and then like a, like a seasonally inspired charcuterie board caramelized onion dip i got some potato chips to go with this i've actually never had this one either i also got this borson dairy-free garlic and herb cheese spread i actually tried this cheese for the first time not too long ago and i ended up really liking it this ahi um everything but bagel crusted ahi tuna is so good to make like poke bowls at home one of the things that i look forward to every single fall is this pumpkin cream cheese spread with their pumpkin bagels which i got the bagels as well let me grab them really quick we'll grab the rest of the pumpkin spice bagels this with the pumpkin cream cheese such a good combo and it's like you know the perfect thing for fall these are new these are crispy jalapeno pieces and these just sound really good for like a salad this is a fall harvest salsa which i've never had before but i love salsa chili onion crunch which i absolutely love i had trouble finding this in stores and they finally restocked my store so i was so excited my husband really likes this so we got this with the little dippers to go with it this is really good. Oh, this looks good. This is pumpkin spread. It's a tasty savory for cheeses, cold cut. I've never seen this one before, so I'm excited to try it. Oh my gosh, these are so good. So these are the elote corn chip dippers. And these, honestly, they taste so good by themselves. But if you really want to like make it extra, you can definitely do it with this um, chipotle bean dip. These are plantain crisp and they're so good. I actually like this with homemade guacamole. It tastes really, really good. Oh, and this is the last thing. These are maple almonds. I think these are also seasonal. Have not tried them, but we opened those roasted peanuts in the car. So 
I don't want to open these yet, which I don't even know where the roasted peanuts are. I think they might still be in the truck, but they were really, really good. I don't know if I went too late. I feel like fall just started, but there was a lot of stuff sold out. Like a lot of the pumpkin stuff that is new or that I look forward to every year was completely sold out. So I wasn't able to get a lot of it, um, but I am happy with what I did find. I'm just glad I found my bagel and cream cheese because those are like a must, but I wasn't able to find like the pumpkin butter. So I was kind of sad about that. Um, but yeah, that is everything. Also, for those of you that live in Texas, definitely stop by and check out the Yelp trending machines. Let me know which one you guys decide to stop by. I'm going to have all the details in the down below for you guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.